everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the triad stitch, which you can see here in front of you. Now the stitch is the same on the front as it is on the back, making it great for a reversible project. It is an open work stitch, but it's one that has quite a bit of texture in it. So, uh, and these rows of single crochet make it fairly stable and strong. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a little bit of Pima cotton yarn, as well as a five millimeter crochet hook. Links to both of these items can be found in the description of this video. Also in the description, you'll find a direct link to the free written pattern, which is on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to say hello down in the comments and uh, to subscribe and take a look around. This channel is updated weekly with free crochet stitch tutorials and free patterns. Our stitch today is worked in rows. So we're going to start by making a slip knot. And once you get this stitch set up, it's a beautiful, fun two row repeat. You're gonna love it. So the first thing we're going to do is start by chaining an even number of chains, any multiple of two. Today I'm going to chain uh, 22 stitches. Once you have worked an even number of chain stitches, you're going to begin row one by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook, and then single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of your row one, you're going to chain four, and this is going to count as a double crochet and a chain one space, and turn your work. You're now ready to begin working some of the triad stitches. So to work your triad stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, and draw up a loop, drawing it up to the height of a double crochet. You're then going to repeat that twice more in each of the next two stitches. So yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull it up to the height of a double crochet. One more time, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, pulling it up to the height of the double crochet. You're then going to have seven loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through six of those loops until you have two loops remaining. You're then going to yarn over one more time and pull through both loops. That's your triad stitch. Chain one, and we're now going to repeat that all the way across, this time starting each stitch in the last stitch worked. So yarn over for your triad stitch, insert it into the last stitch worked, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, now insert it into the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, and repeat one more time in the next stitch. Once you have the seven loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through six loops, two loops remaining, yarn over, pull through two, and chain one. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come all the way across at the end of your row two, I just have one more triad stitch to work. You're going to chain one and then double crochet into your final stitch. 
And that brings you to the end of your row two. You're then going to chain one and turn your work. Now for row three, we're going to single crochet into that first stitch, so into the top of your double crochet. Single crochet into the chain one stitch or space and single crochet into the top of the next triad stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, single crochet in the chain one space and single crochet into the top of the triad stitch. Repeat that all the way across. When you come across, you will have your turning chain four remaining. And when you come to that chain four, you're going to work one more single crochet into the space, and then one more single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. That brings you to the end of your row three and that's it as far as the repeat is concerned. What you're going to do from here on end is repeat rows two and rows three for as long as you would like. So start with the chain four, turn your work, and begin with a triad stitch starting in the next stitch. chain one and then continue all the way across to where you'll work your final double crochet stitch, chain one, turn and repeat your row three. So continue that, fasten off, weave in your ends and that's all there is to working this triad stitch. So thank you so much for joining me once again. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around and say hello down in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you again next week for another stitch tutorial. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.